are gathered here at Esa Northeast local government area. The purpose of this gathering is for the leaders to sensitize the electorate ahead of the general elections. Speaking at the senatorial rally, PDP Board of Trustees Chairman Chief Tony Aneni said he was pleased with the huge turnout of party faithful and appealed to them to preach the gospel of endorsing President Gulag Jonathan to friends and relatives even outside the state. Chief Tony and then he said the February 14 general election is comparatively like a food of the sun that should not be given to strangers, urging them to vote for President Gulag Jonathan. When I say yes, it is yes. And I want to say this clearly. Don't be deceived. If somebody tells you Jonathan will not win, that person is sick. Other speakers who include Minister of Works, architect Mike Onolomeme, National Leader of the Party, Chief Tony Mikimi, Edose Chairman of PDP, Chief Dan Obi, Senator Dion Gbesia, Friday Itula, and the daughter of late Ambrose Ali said, those aspiring for political offices must prove their words, adding that President Gulag Jonathan has touched all sectors of the economy and also one who believes in the unity of Nigeria, no matter the diverse ethnicity or religion. They called on the people to vote for President Gulag Jonathan and other PDP candidates so that they can continue to support President Gulag Jonathan to transform the fortune of the country. Today, what people thought was impossible has been made possible. Before now, if we take you six hours to get to Uzea, which is part of our local government, but thanks to President Gulag Ebele Jonathan, who approved the construction of the road from Oromi to Uzea to Ekberi to Auchi, it now takes 10 minutes to get to Uzea. Ebele Jonathan has brought back the train. Is that not change? That is change that you can see. Nigeria is a favored destination for, for people who want to do business from around the world. So Nigeria's economy is the largest in Africa. That is change that you can see. For those state teachers, please don't be discouraged. We are waiting because the payback time is here. We are going to stop for show money from retrenching our teachers. There is an equal plan to retrench 9,000 teachers after this election. But from what I see here today, that plan will never materialize. My father was detained for a year without trial. My father went partially blind by Buhari's administration. But I wonder why Buhari is coming up to say he wants to contest whether the third time or the fourth time. Because he never welcomed civilian government. Some defectors who were received into the party said Nigeria cannot afford to go back to the military era, hence their decision to join the People's Democratic Party. Other speakers at the event said Edo people should be thankful to President Gulag Jonathan who has contributed 60% counterpart funding to the building of primary and secondary schools across Edo State through the superb arrangement. Best in Bire, reporting.